Today, we're going to unravel the mystery of what shapes our climate. Why is it so hot in some places and freezing in others? Why does the weather change so much from one region to another? It's all about a mix of natural processes and human activities that come together to create and change climate patterns around the world. Let's dive in. First up, let's talk about ocean currents. Imagine the oceans as giant conveyor belts moving warm and cold water around the planet. These currents play a huge role in determining climate. For example, the Gulf Stream carries warm water from the Gulf of Mexico all the way across the Atlantic Ocean to Europe. This is why places like the UK and Norway have milder winters than you might expect for their northern locations. Ocean currents help regulate temperatures, making some places warmer and others cooler. Next, we have wind systems. Wind is created by the uneven heating of the Earth's surface by the sun. Warm air rises and cooler air rushes in to take its place, creating wind. But wind doesn't just blow in random directions. It follows specific patterns that help distribute heat and moisture around the planet. For example, the trade winds blow from east to west in the tropics, helping to drive ocean currents and bring rain to certain regions. Meanwhile, the westerlies, wind that blow from west to east, dominate the weather patterns in temperate regions. Latitude is another big factor in climate. Latitude is how far you are from the equator, and it has a huge impact on temperature. The closer you are to the equator, the warmer it tends to be because the sun's rays hit the earth more directly. That's why tropical regions are hot, while the poles are icy cold. Latitude also affects the length of daylight, with polar regions experiencing extreme differences between summer and winter. Think 24-hour daylight in the summer and darkness in the winter. Elevation is all about height, how high up you are above sea level. As you go higher, the temperature drops. That's why even in tropical regions, you can find snow-capped mountains. For example, the Andes in South America have high altitude regions that are cold year round, even though they're near the equator. Elevation can create microclimates where small areas have a climate that's different from the surrounding region. Now, let's talk about bodies of water. Large bodies of water like oceans, seas, and lakes have a moderating effect on climate. Water heats up and cools down more slowly than land, so areas near large bodies of water tend to have milder climates with less extreme temperatures. That's why coastal cities like San Francisco have cooler summers and milder winters compared to inland areas at the same latitude. Landforms also play a role in shaping climate. Mountains can block the movement of air and moisture, creating different climates on either side. This is called the rain shadow effect. For example, the Himalayas block moist air from the Indian Ocean, creating a wet climate on the southern side and a dry, desert-like climate in Tibet on the northern side. Landforms like mountains, valleys, and plains can all influence local weather patterns. Now, let's look at how humans are changing the climate. One major way is through deforestation. Trees play a key role in regulating the climate by absorbing carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas. When forests are cut down, not only do we lose this vital carbon sink, but the carbon stored in the trees is also released back into the atmosphere, contributing to global warming. Another huge factor is human activities that result in greenhouse gas emissions. Burning fossil fuels like coal, oil, and natural gas for energy releases large amount of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. These gases trap heat, leading to global warming and changes in climate patterns. This is why we're seeing more extreme weather events, rising sea levels, and shifting weather patterns all around the world. So what's the big picture? The climate is shaped by a combination of natural processes, like ocean currents, wind systems, latitude, elevation, and landforms, and human activities, especially those that include greenhouse gas emissions. Understanding these factors helps us see how our actions impact the climate and why it's so important to take care of our planet. That's it for today's geography lesson. Next time you step outside and feel the wind or see the ocean, think about all the forces at play behind the scenes, shaping the weather and climate we experience every day.